Today we return to what is quite possibly one of my favorite games of all time, Bioshock Infinite with the Burial at Sea DLC, taking things down to Rapture. It's the perfect combo, the perfect marriage, like Mario and Luigi, Donatello and Leonardo, Kermit and Fozzie, sign me up, I'm ready to go. If you guys are ready to go and want to see more, just smash that like button, add to your favorites, let me know in the comments below, and also let me know if you followed along with my original Bioshock Infinite walkthrough earlier this year. Episode 1 is out right now, and that's what we're playing. Episode 2, featuring Elizabeth, will be out in 2014, but right now we have to see where things go when Booker and crew venture down below into the deep blue sea. Guys and girls, Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea DLC Episode 1 begins right about... the sort who can afford to turn down legitimate work. <coughs> what do you want? How about we start with a light? Start with a light? Like Bioshock Infinite started with a lighthouse. Nice little metaphor there, Miss Elizabeth. Well, you got a name, Miss? Elizabeth. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl. This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. With Fontaine's charity shut. No place for them. But her you know. As I said, the girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get... Lost your... isn't dead. Name your radar will pay you for this work. You'd do this one gratis, wouldn't you? I don't follow. Something tells me you will. Hey, Elizabeth. Freaking hold the door for... It's not just guys who gotta do it for girls. Let's look around his office real quick before we find out what Elizabeth knows about Sally. Uh, just right off the bat, if you haven't played Bioshock Infinite, this will be filled with spoilers, both from the game and from myself, so... Word to the wise... Now it's been spoken. Okay, so we're free to go. Uh, I wonder what this is. Just another tear? Just another mystery? Or if it's really some weird mind meld of Booker and Rapture? What's going on? Because we know that technically Elizabeth is our daughter, but yet she sure doesn't seem like our daughter in this one. Let's figure out what she's up to. Seems my instincts were correct. Where's Sally? I don't know. But I know someone who does. Follow me. All right, your highness. Hand on your hip. Take me for a trip. Welcome to Rapture, baby. This is how I always dreamed it would look. First of all, it's a pretty darn sexy whale. Second of all, man, did they expand the heck out of this city. The tight corridors, the tiny the ceilings point. of the original what are I need gone. Her is my business. I know where to start looking. I hope you freaking take me, me everywhere. With your particular talents could be useful. I could be useful. I mean, look at this place. Little Wonders Educational Facility. Creepy nutcrackers holding their hands up like it's a freaking shootout. What happened uh -oh. to these children? What are they? <gasps> Where have you been? A cabin in Arcadia? The little the sisters. Little Adam factories. It's grotesque. They kind of look like baby clowns, which is a wee bit frightening. Why they got the freaking face paint on? Uh, it's like they haven't been mutated yet, but in the beginning phases before all hell breaks loose. This woman is standing incredibly still, three thumbs up. I'm coming. I could compromise in Red Hook. Oh. We're just men and women, Alan. You hold yourself to that standard, you'll never be happy. 
In what country is there a place for men like me? Men who refuse to say yes to the doubters and the parasites. Yes, yes, but even Andrew Ryan takes a vacation. Hmm. Does he now? Quit your smoking. It's going to be a trouble in a few years. All right, Elizabeth, where'd you go? Ooh. Oh, come on. We haven't got all day. <gasps> Jet postal. Pneumo tubes. All right, Elizabeth, I'm coming. I just am so freaked. <gasps> Big Daddy. Oh, my God. Nobody's afraid. He doesn't have red eyes. He's just doing some janitorial duties, huh? Drilling away. Wow! Da na 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 big Batman. All right. You getting out of here? Where you? She walks when I walk. Can I? Ooh. Talking about votes. All right, Elizabeth. Let's go. Sorry. Newspaper. Newspaper. Booker is distracted by every little beautiful wrinkle of the world. Fontaine's is closed. We all know who he is. Oh, I do? Or are you talking about what? Cook? You're not knowing about the little sisters. How long have you been in Rapture? Let's just say I don't get out much. You've got eyes and ears, don't you? If I wanted to share my life story, Mr. DeWitt, I would write my memoirs. If I learned anything about Rapture, I thought it was a place where people understood to mind their own business. Where are we headed? The man we need to see is in the Garden of the Muses. How do you know? My sources are my own, Mr. DeWitt. If you have better information as to the whereabouts of your girl, I suggest you avail yourself of it. Oh, dang. She means business. Not gonna take no nothing from nobody. Tell me what you're up to. Tell me where we're going. Garden of the Muses. That's where we're going. Where are you taking me? When's the last time you saw Sally? What? She was taken from you, wasn't she? How do you know this? She was taken, down at Surprise. You were playing the tables and... She disappeared. And? A cop friend of mine, Sullivan, says they found her floating in the docks. You see the body? Look. Did you see the body? This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made and men who make it. I'm taking you to one of them. <laughs> what? Mr. DeWitt, you all right? I'm fine. Just get these spells sometimes. It'll pass. Creepy. Maybe it's the tears, like, just passing through our mem- Whoa! Professor, Hello. Sir? Madam? We're fine, thanks. <sighs> Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's a freaking Houdini splicer, but before they were splicers, when everything was cool and calm, everything was rich and pretty and all oh, awesome. Glowy and neon. Look at this guy. He's just teleporting around. <gasps> it's pretty cool. I'm coming, Elizabeth. Let's go. Garden of the Muses. Take me to your man, your man. Whoa. Mr. DeWitt. We'll find my source inside of that club. Cohen? What does that lunatic have to do with Sally? <sighs> We're going to Cohen's. Look at these creepy interpretive dancers. I'm a little bit weirded out right now. Bunny man, you are a sight. Blowing kisses into the night. Diving into some strange yoga pose. Very, very, very odd. Sander Cohen, what is up with you? Oh, this is a treat Private if you played the original Bioshock. No entry without invitation. We'll see Great. Oh, no. Should I knock on the door? Cohen, let me in. Which business do you represent, sir? Uh, business? Yes, which business? DeWitt Investigations. Mr. Cohen does not truck with private detectives. Masks of invitation went to artists and craftsmen along with it. I'm with the artist struggle. We're expected. No mask, no entry. Stuffed shirt. These invitation masks he spoke of, 
They must have gone out to local artisans. Well, I guess we'll have to persuade someone to loan us one. The business of Rapture is business. It says it's sponsored by the Artist Struggle, the Golden Rule, and Rapture Records. I guess those stores would be as good a place to start as any. All right, let's go shopping for a mask. Artist Struggle, Golden Rule. I like Rapture Records. That sounds like a place to go. I'm going to get out of the glow of these creepazoid rabbits. Cohen was quite the character in Bioshock 1. Really? You don't strike me as the romantic type. Wasn't that kind of man. Then what? There's a debt that needs repaying. I've known my share of Shylocks. You're no Shylock. Wasn't that kind of debt. Weird. She's a little bit eerie. She's a little bit eerie. I guess we'll go to the Golden Rule since we're right here. Let's check it out. Invitations to Cohen shows are highly coveted. Nobody's gonna just hand us one. You think you can figure out a way to distract the store owner while I take a look around? You just find the mask. Leave the distractions to me. Ooh. Welcome. Do your thing, Elizabeth. Do your thing. Are you gonna do your thing? <laughs> Elizabeth, I'm waiting for you. Okay, we can do your thing. Hello? Excuse me. Lady has some questions for you. Yes, of course. I'm interested in this piece. Ah, excellent. You've an eye, haven't you, miss? It's a natural sapphire and diamond, 18 karat gold ring, fully hallmarked for Paris, 1887. That's a lot of fine talk about a stolen ring. I beg your pardon? Right out of her coffin Good in Twilight Good job, Fields. argue and argue. Keep them occupied, I'm going to the back. The assurances What's inside the magic box? Cohen sends those masks out in some kind of box. Hmm. Ooh, orange for health. It's a creepy head. Aha! Must be somewhere else. Great, is she getting... freaking... I gotta help her, but hang on. First, let me check these boxes. My purses. Okay. Anything else? No. Whoa, Elizabeth, we Okay. What happened to distracting him? We're just gonna... I own this shop now, she says. Dang. Elizabeth's looking mighty pretty in this game. Can I leave? Are you gonna just lock me in here? Are we gonna... Hello? Elizabeth? Baby girl. Since you are my baby girl, you probably should listen to me. There we go. Thank you for moving, you kind, kind, cool-hearted... Whoa! Uh, Nothing. Let's find another shop. All right. Where should we look next? Upstairs at the artist struggle or Rapture Records straight ahead? Oh, let's go. Let's go to Rapture Records. This clown bothering you. The great chain gun. I'm not a clown. Not a clown at all. Robertson's Tobacco Korea. But where is Rapture Records? That is the temps of Purdue. This is Le Marquis de Poc. This is another postal place. Oh, okay. I guess we're going to Artist Struggle, and that's where we've been led. Where is Rapture Records? That Rapture Records? No. Interesting. All right, well, we're already here, so might as well. Ooh. The Gallery of the Artist Struggle, a gigantic human head. Why, hello. You see that dish I walked in with? Well, you give her the star treatment, pal. It'll make it worth your while. But of course, right away. Make her into a celebrity. Original Sander Cohen. He calls it miasma. I call it freaking scary. Whoa, a little bit loopy. Still gotta find this magic box. Where could it be? I can't even see straight. Aha. Uh -huh. Nothing. Well, only one place left. Alright, nothing in your your magic safe. No. Weird. Nothing in here. Okay. I'm a little bit dizzy. 
I was just walking so off. Beautiful? What does it mean? My dear, that is... You've given me so much to think about. I, I feel a trifle swoony. W would you mind if, if I return tomorrow for further education? I shall be here at your service. Until tomorrow. All right. Sounds like a goodbye to me. We out of here. Nothing? No. Got one place left, though. And if that proves to be fruitless? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Good idea. What is this? Play the slots. Doop, doop, doo, doo, doop, doop, da, da, banana. Banana. Or 7-7 seven, seven star, I guess. I want a few. Ooh. Hang on. Let's look in here. Taking the taint out of Fontaine. Are, Are you? you? Oh. <laughs> you doubtlessly sample products from Fontaine Futuristics. But do you know why Ryan Industries saved it? Frank Fontaine, business leader and benefactor of mankind? Or was he the best friend the parasite ever had? Were you aware his businesses were a front for a smuggling ring? And were you also fooled by his supposed charity work? At his free clinic, patients became test subjects. And his orphanages were places that children disappeared into and never came out. Once they learned the truth, Rapture's Central Council called for the arrest of Fontaine Futuristic's owner. But a coward to the end, Fontaine found a hail of bullets preferable to facing justice. The council asked that Ryan Industries assume the burden of stewardship of Fontaine's ill-gotten assets. And Andrew Ryan accepted that burden for the people of Rapture. Now all citizens can enjoy these products free of criminal taint. Now you know. Now you know. So kind of Andrew Ryan just to take up all of his stocks and stores. What a gentleman, as we know, Fontaine. Was it not really a dead man like got taken out by Ryan's may have seemed? Can we go here? Can we go inside? Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Bonjour, senor. Oh, hello. I want to buy your shoes, all your shoes, all your suits and shoes. Freaking so much good stuff. That's a cute dress, Elizabeth. If you want to put that thing on, um, search in the box. Don't drink champagne. I don't want to feel loopy again. What's in the bag? Hey, audio logs. Sweet. Talk to me. Su Chang observe strangest of coincidences. On other side of a window, man in strange hat experimenting on Su Chang's own creation. On plasmid. Man name of Fink. Outrage! <gasps> intellectual property! <sighs> but, man name of a Fink is no fool. Through addition of oxidizing agent, turns plasmid ingestible through stomach lining. Mr. Ryan very impressed with Su Chong's initiative. Theft of intellectual property, two-way street. Su Chong talking about Fink from Bioshock Infinite from Columbia coming down and checking out his work. What's up, woman? Why are you standing there all by your own? Uh, the watched clock? Hmm. There's another one of these, though, and I can't help but watch. Are you in the know? The Big Daddy may look imposing, but he's a gentle giant. Do you know all he does for Rapture? These metal jets are the hands that maintain Rapture, digging the foundation out of the seabed and guiding structural supports into place. Where do these metal mysteries come from? Sorry, chum, that's a Ryan Industries trade secret. Now you know. Big Daddy's freaking scary as heck, but they only do good work for now. Where is this? Can I bring up a map of the place? Search Rapture Records. Oh, all I have right now is my audio logs. That's so interesting. Su Chong saw Fink like through a window. All right. 
Where are Rapture records? You'd think it would be right over here. And there's Cohen. Keep your hand on the chain, friend. All right, I'll keep it on the chain. I don't know what that means, but okay. Can't be through there. It must be though. Rapture records. There we go. I found it. I found it. It's finally in sight. Hopefully there's some awesome music stuff inside. This is probably my favorite part of all of Bioshock is like all the audio logs and like the weird old timey sound effects, the, the little movies, all that good stuff. In we go. Rapture records. Hey pal, you want to help out the little lady? Yes, of course. Go and help her. Ooh, that's a pretty piano. Playing my song, that's my jam. Smash on the keyboard like a toucan. And then I crawl behind your lovely desk. Woo! In we go. Lots of secret CDs back here. And most importantly, this thing. Yes. I got it. Okay, but there's a lot of stuff here. Nothing really in it, but <laughs> worth checking out. I'm playing music in the back room. That's my jam. Yeah, that's my tune. Stop me now. You can't too soon. I am Booker DeWitt. All right. It's a pretty good song, Booker. Turn it up, up, up. Search the desk. And we're out of here. Elizabeth, I got what I need. Let's go. Oh, Elizabeth, so music is a real emotional wrecker. I know how you feel. Out we go. Good. We've located the mask. Third time's the charm. All right. It's best we head back to Cohen's. Interesting, interesting. Let's go to the party. Fine piece of work back with those shopkeeps. You've got a bit of the grifter in you. For that, you can thank my father. Oh, yeah? He was a man comfortable in a variety of roles. Oh, really now, Elizabeth? You don't say, do you? Maybe like time warping multiple persona roles, hmm? Enter the club, look around we'll some more. Look around a bit more. Okay, if this is going to be a time is of the essence. a load gate, then like... So, what kind of field you in? Field? Yeah, you know, occupation. Can't imagine what kind of employment would lead you to tag along on a job like this. I suppose you could say I work in debt collection. This better work. Otherwise, we'll certainly look the fools. Trust me. We got it under control. I just want to talk to all the people if Guten it's gonna. Tag. A good dog. What's up? Lot of tobacco, not good for your lungs. Put it in your face, you filthy. Ah, Mr. DeWitt. Ah, champagne. Yeah. So soon. Yes, he is a big drinker. We know that. Here at the lounge, eat some cheese. Give it to me. Give it to me. Don't really need any of this, as there's no one attacking as of yet. Aha! Well, okay, play the slots first. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. I got a bunch of bad shapes. Let's check out another movie. Are you in the know? Innovation and competition are what fuel rapture. But that fuel can be diluted with rumor or flat-out lies. The rumor monger asks, What are these so-called splicing side effects? Well, take a look around you. Do you see anything wrong with your neighbor? The rumor monger asks, Why has Tenenbaum withdrawn from the public's eye? Dr. Tenenbaum is a scientific mind unparalleled, even in rapture. She's no doubt in her lab, toiling away at her next great innovation. I heard she was in cahoots with Fontaine. Merely slander from jealous naysayers. Remember, Rapture competes through innovation, not cheap shots. Bridget Tenenbaum is a woman who represents the best of science and industry. In other words, she's a Rapture gal. Now you know. Doo -doo. Lots of uh, overly like invasive explanations of all these bad things that are happening in Rapture to make sure that people just 
felt like it was the most magical place on Earth. I just quickly wanted to run around and see if there was any other shops to enter. I don't think so, but... Artist struggle, yep. I think we got this area nice and good. The game is really, really awesome. Me personally being a huge Bioshock fan, huge Rapture fan, I love just the sights and sounds, but it seems like the story is going to be pretty cool too, and and maybe reveal a little bit more about Bioshock Infinite's incredibly mysterious ending and overall overall themes and stories. I hope you guys are excited. We'll return and enter Cohen's Magic Private Party Club next time. Until that time, though, guys and girls, smash that like button if you're enjoying and ready for more. Thanks so much for watching. Fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Until next time, we'll see you all later.